Uh, well, this is a very good question coming in from Ziggy in D.C. Oh. Ziggy. Morning, boys. Good morning, I was Ziggy. Just wondering with the upcoming gay games, is uh, Steve taking time off going to be a problem again? <laughs> ah, that's right. Uh, Steve is going to have to have some time off, to make his way as a we might have to have a an correspondent. Inter- we might have to have an intervention with Steve. You know, yes. I, make, I make my silly little videos, right? And people don't really pay attention to the videos when Steve shows up. Like Steve shows up in the background of a lot of my videos. Indeed. And one guy said, "Holy shit, Steve's belly's getting so big it's bending his spine." <laughs> what a great comment Oof. <laughs> but you know what if you really look closely at steve he's gained a lot of weight back gee and i thought he was on some kind of like magical diet yeah yeah and, and i know so you're E-Rock, thinking intervention we ought to yeah i know erock tweets his breakfast every morning and yesterday if erock's around uh steve was eating a huge tupperware filled with french fries and what was it, lasagna? It was, it was three Tupperwares. He had three not, no, I know. I was just describing the first one, Danny. <laughs> That's the beauty of this. Three Tupperwares. Here comes Erock because he took the picture. Because I want to, I don't want to misrepresent this. It was no. French fries in one Tupperware, some kind of pasta dish in the other, or pizza. I'm not sure. Here comes mm-hmm. Erock, and then we will go back to the phone. Erock, you you tweet Steve's breakfast every morning, right? Yeah, almost every morning. And what was yet? Oh is my this yesterday? God! This is what he had yesterday. Um... In the lower right on this photo here, I, I guess it's an omelet. That's um, an omelet. I wasn't 100% it looks like something sure. that's ketchup on it. It's or half it's eaten. pasta. It's, it's one of the two. Yeah, I can't really tell. It looks it's, like ketchup on it. He has a plate of French fries. Is he, yeah, big. A giant plate of French fries. Of French fries. And then um, what appeared to be just huge chunks of chicken and lettuce. With, uh, with, with a blue giant cheese dressing. package of blue cheese dressing to squeeze See, all over it. Oh, but if you no, eat all that, that's up. way too many calories. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. care what diet you're on. That's too yeah. many calories. Yeah. There's been mornings where he, he hides a, a little tub that had like two cheeseburgers in it. <laughs> you would have to, if you want to eat that for breakfast, the rest of the day you have to just walk around fucking curling giant right. weights, walking down the hallway. You just, ah, 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 ah. just constantly working out. You ever take a peek at men's health? Not no. That's a good uh, magazine if you work out and you're trying to eat right and stuff. And they they guilt you. It's the official magazine, by the way, of the gay. Oh, don't even, don't even <laughs> stop it. <laughs> um, maybe we can find one. But they they show like if you eat a let's say you eat a cheeseburger, then it shows you what you have to do to burn off that just lousy cheeseburger because oh, you man. felt like having a cheeseburger. Crazy, right? Yeah, it's the equivalent of jumping rope for the next month. <laughs> month. No joke. If we can maybe find a men's health, they they do a little. It's probably yeah. online too, but What's, there's no way he's that is uh, uh, keeping his weight down. Oh, there's the two cheeseburgers. There's the two cheeseburgers. <gasps> Look at the bites taken out of it. Looks like it's been mauled, yeah, literally that, mauled. Yeah, that looks like it's just being ripped apart. Like that, the that's the, anger. The bite marks. That's look anger. Like, yeah, you could tell that was hard. <laughs> if, that was, if that was, if you gave that to you know some kind of CSI, they would tell you a lot about the person. Yeah, the bite pattern. I've asked him about that too, and he, and he says, "Oh well, this was left over from yesterday." I'm like, "But it doesn't mean that it, that it's breakfast." I don't think that uh, from the bite marks. I don't think that's the executive producer. I yeah. think we got another executive producer out there with a bite radius about this, this big. big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could cut it open and see if yeah. cheeseburgers fall out. Look, I'm not going to cut it. open that executive producer and watch those cheeseburgers. <laughs> Fill out all over the studio. I'm way in with that one, Ed. <laughs> way in. Ooh! Oh, I have to turn off my little dingy text. Ding! Thank you, uh, E-Rock. So follow E-Rock, E-Rock Radio, if you want to see what Steve's eating every morning. It's pretty amazing. Yes, Chris? Yeah, I just got to state the obvious. What does the world come to when E-Rock is making fun of Steve's breakfast? Wow. I got to tell you, man, E-Rock looks like he's fat, but he's not fat. That's the weird thing about E-Rock. That's what happened. That's what's so confusing about E-Rock. He looks fat, but he's not fat. You got to put a dime next to him so you can get the scale. (laughs) If you just take a picture of E-Rock, see, he looks fat. I I think he's just cursed with bad genetics, E-Rock. Because he's not actually a fat guy. But he looks like he's fat. You know what E-Rock is? It's really confusing. He looks like uh, uh, um, a, a little cherubish kid. Sure, yeah. That's what he is. 
It looks like he's still working off baby fat. <laughs> That's what it is. Pillow biting. Did we do that joke? Oh, I think we did. Let's say hi to Scott. Scott, what do you got? Scott. Guys, uh, I just want to let you know, I just read the press release. Remember how in the Olympic Games a few years ago they had Muhammad Ali present the flame? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, in your own studio, Steve C. is going to be presenting the flame. And what's going to happen? He's just going to stand in the torch as the flame. Oh, you know oh, what? because of his flaming clothing that he wears. That yes, and indeed. he's a queer. <laughs> right, get out of here. Greg. Talking of food, I guess behind the scenes, all hell is breaking loose, Anthony. Yeah, there's things going and, on. And I, I heard a discussion. And I want to make it perfectly clear that me and Ant are bringing this to the air. Because these guys actually said, nah, 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 no, don't do this. No, no, no we go right, to the air. Blah, blah, blah. We go to the air. Yep. What's going on? Uh, oh, we, we said that E-Rock uh, takes pictures of Steve's breakfast every morning, yes. right? E-Rock, yes. you've been doing that for a while. Yeah, for for months now. Yeah, I know. I, I've, I've seen your pics on uh, your Twitter. And they're quite hefty breakfasts. And, and it's just funny. I mean, if you're going to use Twitter, that's the way to use it. Yeah. Humiliate somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's there for. <laughs> but he wasn't aware you were doing this? Well, he, he, uh -oh. knew, he knew earlier on that uh, after the first time, I guess, we mentioned that on the air that we were taking photos of, of his breakfast, but he well, said, and I sat there quietly. Hold on, hold on. Another, it, another guy that doesn't like us just walked by. I, I know. I know. I understand. What? I understand. <laughs> oh, that one? Fucking jukebox. <laughs> oh, ahead, jukebox. I thought you were being anti-Semitic. Fucking sick of the dirty looks we get when people walk by our studio. Yeah, I really right. did think he said jukebox. I know, box. something. Oh, I was like, what is that? Jukebox. People make their living by just fucking, you know, one song after another, and they're giving us dirty looks as they walk by the studio. I get it. I understand. <laughs> I get it. Go ahead, e Rock. So, back to you. So, um, yeah, he, he was aware of this, and he never said not to in the past, right? So we kept, oh, I kept doing it. And um, today just set him off because he said, I've put up with this long enough. I'm tired of this. And when this the segment was done i walked back to the office wait well the picture was um, uh what some kind of omelet with a lot of with, lot a, of with ketchup, 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 ketchup. Of ketchup a uh, whole thing of fries that would probably honestly feed a family of four as a side <laughs> a side dish <laughs> fries and eggs and then uh some kind of like uh chicken chicken with the uh, lettuce but with there's the a giant blue cheese like the chicken and lettuce would be fine that should be the breakfast the chicken the lettuce Without the big packet of cheese dressing, Whoa. all those three together. Who makes fries for breakfast though? Like who even? Exactly. Where you find a restaurant that'll <laughs> no, that'll that'll, no. that'll put on the fucking fryer in the morning? Uh, yeah, fucking fries. He's on some kind of weird diet. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make the look, Steve. Don't worry. E Rock. So I go. I go back to the office. And I said, I looked at Steve, and he wasn't looking at me. By the way, it was a good bit for the show, and that's all. I, I explained this to E-Rock. I go, that's all I care about in the end is a good fucking radio exactly. show. You know, I, I can't be bothered with whose fucking feelings are hurt on a given day. I want to. We all take a turn, you know, uh, under the bus. I want to look at the clock and see that 40 quality minutes just went by. Yeah. yeah. That, to me, is like, ah, we're yeah. doing our job. You know how uncomfortable I felt with my Dave Thomas theory? I, I, I fucking ate a shit sandwich this morning. Okay, I know it was. I know. I'm trying to show I'm smart by doing my Dave Thomas theory. Oh. Oof. You don't think I heated up inside? A little, little warm. Yeah, and that's yeah. what this show's about. I could care less if feelings are being hurt. Anyway, you rock. Yeah. So I walk in. He's not looking at me. So I kind of pat him on the back. I said, "Hey, sorry, Steve." And he says, don't fucking talk to me. Oh, boy. Don't fucking look at me. Stay the fuck away from me. That oh. he had it. So I go, okay. Is he looking in a mirror at the time? <laughs> <laughs> Just self-loathing? <laughs> I nigh. I nigh. I nigh. Jesus. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> anyway. See, but that's... A yeah, whatever. Yeah. So uh, he said all so, that so to you. So he said that, and I go, come on, Steve. And he goes, no, I'm, I'm fucking tired of this. I said, but I've been doing this for a long time, and you know that I've been doing this. And he said, I've kept my mouth shut, and I'm not going to... Not in the morning. <laughs> it, it, not <laughs> <laughs> With all that. <laughs> and he's not going to... I nigh. I nigh. I nigh. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Continue, we <Iraq. laughs> And uh, he's not going to stand for this anymore. 
So I said, okay, okay. Wait, can I stop you for a second? Yeah. And this is the point I was making to E-Rock during the commercial. Steve's saying that to E-Rock, who ate the biggest shit sandwich of the week with that virus bit. Oh. So, so he had no problem when you were under the bus, right? Well, Taking a lot of shit from a lot of people. Well, he said he felt bad, but, you know, that's, that's what I was saying. But it wasn't him. Oh. Once it's him, then it, that's when the problem occurs. Yeah. He doesn't like to be goofed on whatsoever. He said he felt bad. He understood why I was upset, but, you know... What else was he going to do? Right, right. okay. So and, I and didn't, it, quite frankly. <laughs> I really didn't understand why you were upset. It was a funny bit. Yeah, we like it. It's so, like a fun, yeah, it's funny. We do like the virus bit. So Steve's really upset. So I, I go, okay, he just get the fuck away from me. So I walk out of the office, and I walk into the second office where you, Sam is sitting. And you were still near him. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I, 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 maybe he's just super sensitive because that probe crashed into him earlier this morning. <laughs> oh, 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 I, 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 so he says, uh, get the fuck away from me. So I leave the office and head into Sam's office, which Steve then follows me into Sam's office. And I sit down and he continues going after me, screaming at me, saying, uh, you know, fuck me, um, all the favors that he's done. And, oh, and uh, you know, don't expect me to help you out with all this uh, other shit anymore. I'm tired of this stuff. You better pick a side. I know. And I'm like, pick a side. Steve, I'm trying to tell him this wasn't as bad as, as he's making this. You know, because out of everybody, I, I pick on him the least, and what I do to him is, is hardly really um, really bad, considering what he gets on a daily basis. What side, right? though? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. This fucking yeah, side side? being chosen? What did he mean? Well, yeah. Maybe he meant Eastern and Western Hemisphere. <laughs> <coughs> what side? Well, he, he there feels... Is, are, are there teams here? Oh, come on. Uh, we all know there's teams, Dan. Let's like... Oh, let me... no. I know that. I just want someone to say it. <laughs> we all secretly acknowledge that. Yeah. I mean, come on. But somehow it works. <laughs> Split right down the middle, too. The it. Jets and the Sharks. <laughs> right? That's the beauty of this show. <laughs> it's pretty much split right down the <laughs> middle. <laughs> but what about Steve? That's the problem. He's not on one of the He's sides. He's his own side? There's a Team Anthony. There's a Team Opie. But then they all... But then everyone gets along. But Steve doesn't feel like he's part of a team so it's like the whole show's on one side of a seesaw he's on the other and it's level <laughs> i nigh, 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 nigh. I nigh. and that's just based on we just get along with uh yeah. members of the staff better than others i, don't, I don't i think i don't hate anyone on the staff I to think be honest geographically with you. certain things work out better i don't hate others. anyone perhaps if sam lived a little closer to me He'd be my little twink friend. Yay! Yeah. Instead of Opie's <laughs> flunky. Oh, yay! And if, you know, Danny didn't live uh, in Queens and uh, hop, skip, and a jump uh, uh, to my house, perhaps we wouldn't uh, black out uh, drunk together. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is free beer, so I'd probably make the trip. <laughs> <laughs> How many guys, for these teams? How many guys work it's, here? It, I know. I only know like Too three. Like, what is, what, what is, I don't think that's even what Steve's talking about. Like, no, what, what, no. what is he's, Steve referencing? Yeah, wait, 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 Sam's, Sam's, Sam's on it. Let's go. Steve thinks there's. there's <laughs> Sam uh, makes me sick. He's a smarmy little dude. He really is. He put his head down like a. Well, I'm sorry to have to say this, but. <laughs> but they're meanwhile, asking. he's happy as a pig in shit to, he's to, chomping, to mix he's this chomping up. chomping at the bit. He can't wait to get on Mix Mike. it up, you little prick. You go guys, ahead. you guys are confused. You're describing the OP team and Anthony teams. Those are the on-air teams, not the. Behind the scenes team. Uh, the now there's a behind the scenes team, which is well, I mean, there's a, there's a, a documented rift between Steve and Danny. So I would well, we know that I would assume that it would be Team Steve and Team Danny. Yeah, yeah, back there. So uh -huh. I think those were that was the team. Is Steve. there members of uh, Team Steve though? Behind the scenes? <laughs> Holy shit! Is I anyone, is I anyone I on I Team I Steve? I. I think Steve felt that Eric was a member of Team Steve, and when Eric did what he did on the air, oh, Steve felt he boy. was maybe leaning over towards Team Danny. Although, oh, since Eric also shit. hates Danny, I doubt he's right. on that team, too. So how did that happen? I don't think they hate each other that much. Steve seems no. very nice to me. What, what does he do to have this more? He doesn't want to be part of the maybe, fun. Maybe, I'll, maybe I, I don't have to deal with it. 
like, because I just come here to talk yeah. shit. But so he followed you and started yelling and screaming. Sam, you saw this. Yeah. And you're saying Steve is <laughs> Look at Sam. And you're saying yeah. Steve is way out of line. Well, Steve's the, a party pooper? There was other people that yeah. witnessed this too out in the hallway. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm saying Steve was a bit over the top. He kept yelling at Eric and said that. Can Steve fire anybody? No. No. <laughs> is he somebody's boss? <laughs> No. To be completely honest with you, if there's a lot of honesty today, he can't fire shit. Oh, jeez. He can't. <laughs> he's, Steve's a, Steve's a I figurehead. I thought Steve could fire people. Steve's oh, a no. figurehead. <laughs> he's my superior. What? Definitely, yeah. Shut up. He is. He can't fire Steve anyone. can fire you? I mean... I know he can suspend you. Okay, Danny. Oh! 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 People have... To get to who? Patrice. To get no, to the no. next level boss no, no, up. No, no, it ain't happening. Uh, here's the deal with this place. A lot of people have, like, fake titles, but in the end, Ant and I run the entire company. Yeah, so. we run the whole company, For real? actually. For real. Yeah. No one's getting fired without so, our say. Don't make me so go upstairs. He can't upstairs. fire anyone? No. I mean, Obi is the main boss, so... He, if, he could suggest... Hey, hey what about Obi Anthony? Anthony? I see, mean, Obi's that was because of a team Obi I know, because he's team Obi. He just happened to be the one who would say you're the boss. It works out, man. <laughs> oh, he was just the one speaking at the time. I hear you. If you had said that, I would have said Anthony's the main boss. So there's no worry. And is this why Steve is not here right now? I don't know why he hasn't. Uh, no, but while Steve was yelling at Eric, he could he could suggest. I'll be fair. He could suggest a firing. But in the end, it's up to Aunt and I who gets fired. But if that's the case, everybody can suggest a firing. <laughs> of yeah. course. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And then there's no. other bosses that the are higher. The janitor can suggest a fire. Then there's he's, other bosses that are higher than Steve that think they have power. It's it's a whole joke. He's the eunuch really producer. <laughs> he's like a eunuch. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Steve said he preferred to keep his head down and remain off the air. Head down into the plate no, of fucking that's, French fries. That's what's wrong. <laughs> oh, come on. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. This is brutal. This is brutal. It's so brutal, this is what happens man. in every fucking workplace. I guess you're right. You're just talking about yep. it. Steve prefers to do what his job is, you yeah. know, booking guests and, and making the proper phone calls and emails, but remain off the air. Why That's you say that with a smile, oh. Sam? I'm, I'm happy to be here. I, I'm at the Opie and Anthony show. You know, oh, it's okay. a good day for yeah, me every yeah. day. So Steve will not be joining us on the air for this discussion. I, frankly, that would I drive highly Jimmy doubt nuts. It. You know, the person that would be pissed off by that the most would be Jimmy. Norton Jimmy would be losing his fucking. You tell him to get his fucking, fucking ass, ass down in here. here. It's for the fucking show. It's for the show. The fucking asshole. That's what Jimmy would be saying. He'd be mm. very angry. But that's Steve's prerogative. You know, <laughs> what a little I, I'm, I'm hurt for Steve because I, I yeah I know that Steve has to think that he's higher than these guys. Yeah, you would have to feel like he thinks he can more than suggest <laughs> no. things. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if Steve no. tells me what to do, I always do it. He is superior. See, he, if, if something happens off the air. If there's a, an argument or some discussion off yes, the air yes. that is, um, you know, kind of nasty, then uh, he could write, uh, file a little report about the person. And who gets it? You? No, we, <laughs> we wouldn't see. What are you? I'm going to look at a fucking report? And some, no, it would, it would get knocked upstairs. Someone's asking about Roland because we said that no one gets fired without our approval. Roland didn't work for. No, no, he didn't work. He for worked the show. for another company that yeah, kind of he subcontracted. Kind of strong armed. Uh, uh, the company CBS to to not you know continue with Roland. He was they a subcontractor, way too much money. and we're still we're trying to get Roland hired here. But uh, yeah, kind of a different situation. To be honest with you, no, there there have just been you know things. things. Oh, that's so funny. Steve said Eric was kicking him in the dick. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you're kicking me in the dick. He's like, how many times that's are you going to keep kicking me in the dick? Wow, Did because you of, because of his <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> yeah, Apparently, yeah. Does you know what Twitter show he works right. for? No. This is easy That's stuff. That's a hilarious <laughs> breakfast, though. That this really is easy is. stuff. It's a funny-ass breakfast. If, but something's going on deeper than this, because this is breakfast. He, That's this easy. French fry, this is breakfast. Dude, when you order a yeah. watermelon, what's Chicken? the first thing we do? We make fun of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who can get... Here's the thing. Here's the funny part. Who can get chicken, french fries, and eggs 
Yeah, at in the breakfast morning. time. That's very resourceful. And it's a, it's a hilarious breakfast with blue cheese. It's a weird breakfast. It, it doesn't <laughs> yeah, really make sense. It doesn't sense. make any sense, that breakfast. He Why brings is it he so home. ashamed of this breakfast? He brings it from home. Oh, he brings it yeah, from home. Yeah, it's deeper than that. Patrice is absolutely right, because we all get smashed on this show. It, oh, oh these shouldn't be so hurt about this. Some, this no, is... No. It's deeper. This is some that. type of um, posthumous breakfast that he dedicates to somebody. Look at that breakfast. That's not around anymore. Look, Look at out. that fucking breakfast. Two what? giant cheeseburgers. Look at the angry bite marks. Look at how those bite marks are like They're Velociraptor. It, like, it, like a Velociraptor got it. Why wouldn't, first of all, I wouldn't, every morning, here's, here's the genius of Eric right now. Every morning I would look at that and go, what the fuck? <laughs> but Who are you, man versus food, niggas? <laughs> I think food's winning. <laughs> For the record, Patrice, a big guy, is laughing at all the fat jokes, God okay? Because that's all it is. What? Why is he upset about this? Uh, he, He's there, eating two hamburgers for breakfast. <laughs> There's a lot of And we're not animosity. supposed to comment about that. I believe he feels he is shat upon more than uh, yeah. more than other people. Steve the only, is not uh, even the, close. The only shitting, I would not say. Not even close. No. I'll tell you right now. As a fan of the show. e uh -huh. gets shit on twice as much. And that's why it's so weird that uh, Steve goes after e -Rock. Understand what e takes on a daily basis yes. from this radio as, show. As a person who's a, a fan and as a person who comes through, I'm not here all the time. Yeah. But from what I Thank can. Thank God. I can, uh, <laughs> from what I understand. I'd be a silent partner by Tuesday. <laughs> Eric gets <laughs> fucked with a lot. Yes. <laughs> Sam gets fucked with none. Barely none. Well, because he no, postured, no, postured Danny himself. barely gets fucked with. Danny he, doesn't get fucked with. And tr uh, Travis. Travis gets fucked with because he's a blue bitch. It's not he's true. a skinny little girl but bitch. But I'm saying that he's a homosexual Danny takes that a married a girl just to prove that he wasn't homo, but he is, and his child isn't his. Why do you keep kicking me in the dick? <laughs> <laughs> I think I the know. only thing Steve has is the is the gay voice thing is his only. Yes. Now he has a. Uh, now he's got breakfast. <laughs> now he has food. Now he's got breakfast. <laughs> Sam doesn't get fucked with that much because he's a smarmy motherfucker who could turn it right around. Danny doesn't get fucked with as much on the air because he just turns around and goes, go fuck yourself. And, like, it's the end of story. Like, hey, fuck you. And, and it's over. You know what? <laughs> That's not fair. You're simplifying it. Fuck everyone, yeah, everyone, everyone gets fucked with. They really yeah, do. No, but my point, is, with, they but really my point is Steve does not get a whole lot of nothing except for yeah. the Steve voice. Right. Yes. That's, that's it. That's funny. Like gay. But now he <laughs> he he has the, the gay voice. Now he's the gay voice who eats two <laughs> cheeseburgers. Giant fucking bites out of cheeseburgers. And, and here's, here's how big they are. They don't fit in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> No, so he, he ate them for him to fit in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> he had to he had to take three gigantic bites so it fits in the fucking plastic <laughs> container. Because <laughs> two won't fit. One and a half fit. Mm. How, he, can he, how can he be so fucking he, upset about this? When, I want to know. Can you get him? When he bought these, did he tell the guy he'll gladly pay him Tuesday for those today? <laughs> I nigh. I nigh. I nigh. Where's Steve, man? Can we talk to Steve, please? I, I don't make fun of this. I just want to know what's going on. Why the fuck is he yeah. so upset about Let's this? Let's get Steve in here and There's a and deeper thing. This. He can't be upset about this. It's a giant, it's a half eaten giant burger and a full giant burger. Giant. Yeah, Steve, come on down here and explain. It was an omelet, french fries, and a chicken salad. Yeah. For breakfast. Yeah. We got it, you know. It's got to be discussed. Why wouldn't we discuss that? That he brings from home. He made two big sandwiches? <laughs> Did he make these at the house? <laughs> that he bought for breakfast? Cooking up cheeseburgers at four in the morning, <laughs> three in the morning, <laughs> putting them in tubby wear. And, and trust me, this is not, I don't a, like food this that is not a diet. To, to cook yeah. at four in the morning. No. These are If there were two hamburgers with no bun, I would say, okay, he's doing some mm -hmm. Atkins, but... I mean, I don't oh, know. I don't see... Um, the french fries fucked it up. So, e -Rock, how did it end? <clears throat> well, that was the uh, that was sort of the end of the first fight. Um, he, he, he left the second office and went into uh, back into our office and just wasn't talking in, at all. Mm. Then, during one of the commercial breaks, I'm down here, and um, I'm talking with Sam about... Um, doing something for the weekend, and he goes, "Come here!" And he pulls me away from everybody down the hallway, and you know, I'm, I'm I was pretty much told to shut up and listen while he just unloaded on me. Wow! 
um, stating that uh, Point, pointing and waving, pointing uh, that little crazy psycho dead stare right through you, <laughs> kind of thing, just pointing. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Just, oh man! Yes, I'm, very, yes. I'm very familiar with this talk. Yeah, yeah. To the point where, he, where you know he's sweating yeah, as he's talking because he's really intense. Now oh. he's coming. Oh, and th shit. this was a different Steve that that I've seen really? on a daily basis. Oh wow! So I just I'm like okay, oh, and I sat there. Play the Darth Vader march sure music right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Darth Vader this is motherfucker. Dun 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 dun. Oh shit! <laughs> Here's just so we're all abundantly clear. What I said to Eric. Um... It was, yeah, you got, I got my finger right in his face, looked at him as if he was a piece of fucking hamburger that had just been ripped through. <laughs> and um, ooh, I said, I'm a good guy, and I will continue to be a good guy to you until you fuck with me one too many times. Take and then the I will, pick. yeah, exactly. And then I will direct <laughs> you all will, of that and, oh, good guy yes. energy to fucking with you And then nonstop. you will suggest that something happens to him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, I'll just start doing it. No, I am a shit. vindictive motherfucker when okay. I get screwed with. But oh, how, okay, now two things. One, that's interesting because I've been finding out the, the politics. I mean, you get along. Yeah, I like absolutely. I like Steve, man. I would never have a problem. Mm -hmm. But they say you only have the power of suggestion. Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically, in, 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 in a, in a, basically, you're a, you're yeah. a magician <laughs> yeah. in here when it comes to them. So basically, what could you do to really fuck with them if you have no nothing more than suggestions? It's not so much. It's not so much fucking with them, um, like within here. You can't really do anything. You are. You're completely castrated in here. Nobody has any power. Okay. Nobody has any power. But I'm the first person a lot of times that people come to and hey, can you get me into this event? Hey, can you give uh, me tickets to this okay. event? Okay. Who hey. does that? And. And uh, you're like fucking uh, Morgan Freeman from Shawshank. You get things, <laughs> and I'm now you're the first person that. on the phone with publicists and, uh -huh. and I'll get and, you a rock hammer and and <laughs> ticket brokers and people that need free shit. I'm happily I'm I'm happy to do it. All of a sudden, oh, let's 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 fuck with them a little bit. The guy that gets the free shit, let's go fuck with them a little bit. But wait oh, really, minute. Steve, yeah. I haven't asked you for, for tickets to this week. No. When oh, when did I ask you for tickets to an event? I don't, dude. My, I, it's not. No, so you much... brought it up. Bring it. Tell me when I asked you. It's not tickets. Yeah, I've never asked for anything. What it's... do I ask you for? Uh, I know one thing, and it wasn't even for me. Uh, what Stargate fucking box sets? No, that came from <laughs> that came from the publicist. <laughs> now, do you hear? Uh, do you do you hear the stuttering in Eric's voice a little bit yeah, right a little now? Bit. Yeah. It, it, you, you, you just started a little bit, dude. It's taking advantage. It's taking advantage of someone's good nature who is happy to fucking do stuff for you until, bing, there's a little needle. Dude, and I then... never do anything to you. That's the one thing that I've been doing for the longest time. And that, I know you've been doing it for the longest time. And you haven't said one word now that this was a problem. Now, let's get to the real thing. Yeah, what's the Why problem? Why are you upset? First of all, I've seen a picture this is of yeah. your breakfast. Yeah. Two giant hamburgers. You're right. It's usually something and I didn't eat the night French before. French fries, yeah. an omelet, and a chicken salad sandwich or One, something. Yeah, something like that. I don't, you know, honestly, Why are you upset that that is out there? Because I'm a fucking addict who is able to kick every other fucking thing in the, that he's been addicted to, but he hasn't been able to fucking deal with this one yet. So, for some reason, that one strikes a nerve. Because I got over it once, dropped you know a pile of weight, got fucking surgery, and then when I stopped drinking, I jumped over to this. So addiction. this is a this is a little pity party for yourself. You can't. No, that's not a pity I party think, at all. It's I not think a pity that party that at all. helps. That help the ridiculousness of this will help you in the long run. No, I'll, I'll tell you something. My my old man when I was a kid. It's he helping said, he, me, nigga. No. <laughs> here's here's you something. Got that giant hamburger. When I was a kid, <laughs> man used to tell me to my face. Uh, uh, the world does not respect fat people. If you get married, you'll never get a job. No one will ever love you. I ballooned up to 400 pounds by the time I was 23 years old. And you old. found that he... <laughs> so you no, lost I weight. Actually, no, I actually... You, got the, you wound up achieving everything except for the people liking you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so, you're fat, so, Steve, this, uh, this fat I issue... Oh, no. This is... And I'm not being funny, man. Usually fat dudes... Jolly. Be, because we have the ability to be other than... Fat. I mean, I know personality-wise, you got to be a little above a notch if you're fat. Why? That's like such a... Man, I don't want to say woman, but it's such a how women get depressed about fatness. Dudes um, get depressed about fat a little bit more dude-ish. Like, you, shouldn't, you should be able to see that this is funny. 
yes. Intellectually, I see it. Emotionally, I don't. So, the, aha! So you should really... Yeah, but the problem is Rock went through the same shit this week. He didn't like the bit he was involved with. Eric's a perpetual victim, unfortunately. But you're being oh, one, too, right now. Oh, no, I don't think so. Shit. Not at all. You're being, not, you're, how, being how a, so? you're being a victim right now. How so? How you're so being a being victim victimized? because you, you told us once upon a time I was a little boy who my father told me this. You asked what was behind it. I'm yes, telling you what was behind it. But that behindness that? is... And I'm not saying but you're you perpetual, asked. but you're being a, you're victimizing yourself because you're angry emotionally about this. It's not personal. This is internal. He just clicks. It's not his fault that you're having this issue. No, it's not his fault that he's having this issue. He's what what he's doing is instigating. What he's doing is 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 acting as a catalyst. Now, did you know that he had this issue with with his size the no. way he does? No. It's and now he now he does. If and he does it been, again, then, then now he does story. and he'll do it twice. Yeah, as much. now he now he does and he'll do it twice as much. Thank There's you. been times too. I've seen some of the the horrible shit that he was eating, and I'd say, Steve, you know, with, with your surgery and everything else, are you supposed to be eating the bread? Are you supposed to be doing this? No, I'm not. I've talked to him about this a few times, and in that added with he knew I've been doing this for a while. Now today, everything just fucking hit, and he went off. You're a mm. victim, you rock. Mm. Apparently. So, well, defend yourself. You want a rape kit? Yeah. <laughs> you could swab your ass and no. get some DNA. Victim. No, I have to. Victim. Ah, victim. Victim. <laughs> that's, that shit is His hilarious. new character, Steve. victim. Vic, Vic, Vic fucking dumb. hamburger. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Victim. <laughs> Again, intellectually. Fucking dumb. You're right. Vic dumb. You're right. Vic dumb. I get it. <laughs> now I you're get it. Dumb. He just touched the nerve. <laughs> yes. He now you're Vic dumb. And Vic you know dumb. what he do? I used to work on fucking Lansdowne Street. You know what the hardest for bitches? I used to work on Lansdowne Street. Every fucking night. Boston. Yeah. Okay. Every fucking night. Do you know what a joy it is? And Boring. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, 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 shit. Wow. This is something Patrice I can see your hand move. <laughs> oh, God damn. Holy shit. Oh, oh, my God. Man. That was bad, man. Oh. Why are you reaching for your little oh. machine, man? Oh. No, I want to oh. prove that. No, really. Steve, Steve's oh, opening up. Steve. It's about time he opens oh, up. Oh, so my why God, we... man. Lands down street. <laughs> oh, no, it's boring. <laughs> Once upon a time. It's fun. Oh, fuck balls. <laughs> Uh, Steve, I swear to God, call me why off is, air. I want to talk to you, man. Fuck that. Why Why is E-Rock hiding his face? Because he's embarrassed that he's, he's a victim? He's Vic Dumb. <laughs> Vic Dumb. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> why are you laughing at that? That hurts E-Rock. That hurts Vic Dumb. Good. 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 Vic but that's, dumb that's what great. we're getting at. That hurts him personally. I love Vic he Dumb. He doesn't want to be called Vic Dumb. <laughs> Vic <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> Best name ever. <laughs> Hey, Vic. <laughs> Mr. Dumb. God damn it. Table's ready. Yeah. So, Lansdowne Street. Look, I'm, I'm yeah. not even and close to buttons. Um, you said you worked on Lansdowne Street. Oh, I worked, Street. worked on Lansdowne Street, and I was, it was huge then. So, but when somebody fucks with you when you're working in that place, what can you do? You punch them in the face. As hard as you fucking can. Right. Oh. You can't do that anymore in civilized walking upright no. person society. How much weight have you gained back since the surgery? Uh, probably, since your smallest? Probably, since my smallest, about fifty pounds. Probably 40, 50 pounds. That's not a, a complete. No, it's off. not. But it's still. It's a. It's it's uh fucking. It's it, coke. No. No. Oh, okay. I'm an addict. I don't do that shit. I can't do that shit. No. My sister died of a drug overdose, so I don't do that shit. Coke in moderation. <laughs> you ever hear anybody? I do coke in moderation. <laughs> One nostril a week. Uh, yeah, that's it. Can't nah. do that. No, um, I, I, so it was, it was now joke. with uh, my coke. my inherent developed ability, obviously this is years ago, to deal with people on a confrontational level, taken away. I'm not as I'm not as witty as these guys. I'm not. You know, and I'm not as witty as you or Oprah or Ant or Jimmy, so I really can't hold my own in here. So, but you say you you're not as witty as Eric. I'm not talking about Eric. I just pointed it. I'm sorry, it's Vic. Patrice. It's Vic. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, I was Patrice. I, I clearly pointed at you, Open Ant, and, and referenced Jim, who isn't here. Pitted, so pitted, so pitted. This is crazy. Man. So what is it? What, what this is, is it fucking like? crazy? Like, <laughs> you must understand that is not a good breakfast. Absolutely. So, so why not just not have the French fries? 
most you know what most days I throw them out. I bring them here. I don't eat them. Yeah. I throw them out. And the and fact I that I'm bringing them here is like, addiction. By the way, that's, I'm, I'm that's like, but I understand too. But but it's like <laughs> falling off the wagon. Uh, you gotta you gotta like get back on. Now there was a point you're you're working out. You're fucking right. you know you weren't you weren't uh, uh, you were uh, you were big guy. You know muscles and shit like that. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. you pack on a few pounds, and then you must realize and go, all right, I gotta do something about this. Now your I'll woman, t- your woman is. She was a trainer, right? She is. She's, she's a, a well. Trainer. She's pregnant now, but she's uh, she's a she's a she's a fitness model and a female bodybuilder. Yeah. So so as soon as y'all get get have the baby, mm-hmm. she's gonna you gonna she'll get be right, right back, back on and stage. You'll be, yes. But you'll be right back doing her. She makes you do your she, thing, right? Um, truthfully, I've asked her to help me get get back on get back get my shit back together because I was didn't like the way I uh, I looked, but I've been fucking sliding like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anthony Susan Waldman just I, saw a picture of uh, Steve's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah! oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Erock, Erock's a victim. That's all Vic, I. Victim. Vic. Dumb. Dumb. Love victim. What's up, Vic? <laughs> Victor <Vince>. Dumb. <laughs> Doctor <Dumb>. Van Dumb. <laughs> Victor Van Dumb. <laughs> That's terrible, man. Yeah. Jean Claude Van Dumb. Oh. Uh, no. You rock. You rock. Comment. No. no. You feel like no. you're a victim. Today I do. Yes. Today. Why today? It's not even about you today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Like earlier in the week, yeah. Uh, only you can fix yourself, Steve. Um, let's see. You do realize fat that is like a universe full of bubbles. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm, but I'm also but I'm also completely irrational right and crazy. So. All right, fair enough. What was that? I'm irrational and crazy. Thank you. Oh, well, I've never debated nice that clip. fact. The fact that I walk in here and 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 on multiple occasions have thought about eviscerating somebody. With my bare fucking hands. I see his eyes. I've never seen his eyes. Especially like this. for a, a person in a leadership role, it's very healthy. Go cry in your burger. Wait, wait a minute. Wait yeah, a minute, from designated wise ass over there. Hey, I'm just stating. I'm just stating the obvious and fact. No, Danny That's doesn't it. like me, so anything you you, you anything. And says, pause, yeah, pause can from the course, be, Buster. Can this, can this be? Oh he called him Buster. 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 Yeah, Danny's the most Buster. disrespectful Buster. shit mouth on the entire staff. So hold on. Anything that he says has to be hold taken on with there, several. Yeah. Buster. Hold on there, Chief. Yes. Champ. <laughs> hey, w- w- wait a second, champ. <laughs> Allie. Can, can this thing just ever the word be fixed? I off- you know what? Uh, you no. know what? I-, I extended an olive branch a few weeks ago, and Danny uh, subsequently that? wiped his ass with what it. What was that? What I offered branch? to speak. I-, I wrote you a polite email and said, you know what? It's been a while since we spoke. I think you and I should really uh, have have a conversation. Can I-, be- I, don't- I don't talk to people who who, would- who almost punch me in the face Dude, and try to get lucky me fired. I never though. connected and knocked your fucking no, teeth out. No, you're lucky. No. No, I'm you're not. Lucky. Dude, I, I would... The, the reason your attitude is so shitty, I think, is because you've never had your ass properly fucking handed to you. Yeah, because that's how you solve problems with people that you yes. have disagreements with. Absolutely. You just, you, just, you, just, you just fling hard meat into their faces. Yes. That's not the way things work. No, or you take their face and just smash them as hard as you can against the fucking wall. Steve, that's, a, that's a very unhealthy, it's an unhealthy attitude to have about, about, about disputes and disagreements. Oh, it fixes them real quick, oh, though. Oh, da 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 it, it fixes them right fucking no quick. No, 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 it doesn't fix it because no, one person no, is no, unresponsive no, and in a complete no, fucking coma. And then Fuck you're out of a job. You're out of a job. Yeah. You go to jail and no. I sue your balls off. Sue so me for who, what? So I'm who fucking wins? broke. Sue right. me for what? Show you. So who wins? Oh, so then who really wins? So me. keep. So keep. So keep. So keep settling all your disputes and arguments with uh, with your big meat fists and see where that gets you. You know what, though, but Danny, you're a, gonna be okay. This is this is unfair, dude. The, 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 you're both playing. This, the, this is wrong for you, hey, bud. What's your problem? <laughs> it's wrong for how are you doing this. I hate him. this place. And yeah, it's wrong seriously. for how he's threatening you, but it's wrong how you're doing him. The Negro. The guy that just said he's just not going to be a witty guy with you. The Negro. Hey, y'all should just stop, man. That's fine. Look, me, I, I know Steve for a very long time at this point. There's no way to and fucking think, be friends and, and again. And to be honest, no, I don't think so because uh, there was a there was a point in time where Steve really, I, I feel that he really fucked me really bad, and I was really pissed, really really pissed off. 
And was that? ever since Do that day. Do you feel like you fucked him bad? No, that, I didn't. So that, was a, that was the day I took him and just threw him in the fucking garbage because I was like, oh. you know what? If, you, if that's the way you're gonna be, bro, then I because don't really he need accepts to talk absolutely to no responsibility for his actions. So when I had to answer for him, that's what we need. Big fight. Well, Buckaroo. Yeah. Wait, what Buckaroo. happened? Though? Buster. Oh, I, I made some comments about his website, and then and, and he didn't no, like it. So that's not. That at, is that's exactly not what it happened. At all. That is not it at all. All right. Well, prove, I always well, wonder what the big well, issue was. Well, prove really. it any I other way. I honestly don't remember, but there was something that I can't fucking talk about, unfortunately, because it's a matter of corporate <laughs> bullshit. But it had nothing to do with a comment you made about the website. It was something that I was questioned about regarding your behavior, and I had okay. to answer for it. Got you in sure. trouble. You thought I did it fucking deliberately. You did because it was like a day later. <laughs> it's nothing worse than not being able to sock a guy who's like. <laughs> Fucking and I'll tell you saying, something. I'll I'll fucking sue you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll fucking sue you. <laughs> Do you know what fucking it's, enraged it's that, worse. that elicits? It's nothing worse than a guy that goes, you're a fucking nothing because you want to hit me. You're in a Neanderthal, fat man. Now eat your burgers. And he just wants to toss this hey. nigga through a wall. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he fucking can't. How you feel, Buster? <laughs> <laughs> Look, not for nothing, but you know, I, I, I this is so fucking annoying. Really ah! Razzle dazzle. I did a lot. Of, I did a lot of. I did a lot of stuff for Steve before this internship ever materialized. It was all pro bono stuff. I worked for his website, did some writing and stuff for him. You know, and that was very nice. And so I felt to be treated in this respect back, I felt was really fucked up, and it was just a smack in the face because he got his feelings hurt personally. No, so, that wasn't that's it. That is it, Steve. That isn't Jesus, it. This has been oh my years, God, you're so yeah. wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How could you fucking? This is amazing. <laughs> Sam just goes, oh yeah, like he puts a sad face on Sam, like, oh this is. I can't even be in the same room as. Oh, this is so upsetting <laughs> Sam, to me. Sam, Sam, has, Sam has a boner that he's holding his Sam, with his, yeah, with his, oh, with his, uh, his like pants waist. Star Trek monsters that get strength from this, <laughs> yeah. like like people fighting. He gets actual strength somewhere somewhere in the sewer system of, of New York City. There's orange goo. That's bubbling. Sam is such a piece of shit. Sam is a fucking piece of shit. I will, I will shit. accept that criticism. <laughs> I will accept that. How does Vic Dumb feel about <laughs> it? He enjoyed, he enjoyed that one. <laughs> yeah. I heard him laugh. That was funny. I didn't think it would get it to be the Steve Danny thing, though, again. Because that's it always It always, it always, it always, it always is. It always circles you two uh, have a very volatile work relationship. Um, yeah. Yeah, one wants to sock the other, yeah. and the other one goes, please do, yeah, and please you're do fucking so out of here. sue you into, in, in, into even, even further bankruptcy. Steve's well, a I've really got news for you, fun. buddy. If you did, that's what buddy. I'd do. <laughs> well, good how how professional is it for, for a guy who's the executive producer of the show to raise a fist to someone else? How fucking professional is that? At the time, it felt like the best thing in the world. But is it professional, Steve? I don't get This whole <gasps> fucking room isn't professional. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this is the least professional environment you could possibly work in. So then you're saying... Uh, I bet right, you Danny, you went, you know what you Danny went, would go, it's like arguing if he hit him, if Steve hit Danny, Danny would go, oh, you did it now, pal. <laughs> <laughs> you now you now you've done it, pal. Dude, I've, got, I've got pissed off around this place before. And never once have I thought that a rational uh, a rational uh, reaction would be to raise my fist to somebody. I've never once thought that that was going to be the proper road to go down in any dispute or disagreement that has ever happened in this building or in the, in the XM building. Ever. When's the last time you had a really nasty fist fight and got your face kicked the fuck into a curb? Seriously. Did that is not happen? the dude. That is not the end all and be all no, of everything. You're not answering Fists the question. Fists do not solve problems, Stephen. They, they don't. Do. Sometimes they do. <laughs> Sometimes they really do. And the fact that you can't answer that question means you probably Bet never have. Between Quentin so Jackson right, I, and I need to Chuck Liddell, and, and, yes. and that'll no, win me right into shape. Yeah, it'll be fucking, it'll fucking still a sense one. of humility that you've never fucking hit. I have been hit so fucking hard that I couldn't see straight. I don't care. Good. Well, good. <laughs> good. You know what? That care. that says a monumental amount. You're indifferent and you're a fucking wise ass. No, your world is completely different than my. My world doesn't revolve around physicalities, and yours does. No, it's, it has nothing to do with that. Yes, it does! That's your whole argument! You have a massive problem with authority. You hate people who fucking even remotely ex ex exemplify a father figure. You fucking oh, hate wow. them! Wow, no, that's oh. dude. Now, 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 now you're bringing your own things out no, to the I'm argument. Not. Fucking yeah. reaction to an authoritative decision. This guy fucking acts like he just phone. pissed in his cornfield. Get my dad on the phone. We'll talk about how much I hate my daddy and how I have daddy issues. You, are you, everybody in this fucking room has daddy issues. You have daddy I don't. issues? You want to come, come over, Danny? I, I love that. I don't have a daddy I, issue. My dad's dead and I fucking loved him the uh, whole time. What the fuck are you talking about? One exception. I have mommy issues. Okay. This uh, wait, is no, going mommy great. Yeah. Uh, Steve. 
Oh, oh, Travis is here. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Oh, Whoa, Travis left the other room. <laughs> I'm in here now. Wait, 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 wait. I got to be on Steve's side. This is a tack of the nerds. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Steve is ogre. And he can't. Ma- what Steve does is take nerds and throws them through a window. Steve is okay. and, That's ste- right. and steps on his fucking Terminator doll that he built. His- <laughs> and your Travis and your fucking Travis just tagged in. No, he, he, he did. This is fucking. Who's at your station right now, Travis? Yeah, people. <laughs> a million people. Right I can't let this happen because this is about to be. It's it's Lilliput. It's like yeah. Lilliput. It's, 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 he's Gulliver. It's Gulliver. It's like they, yeah. they, now they on him with the, with the, I'm the gonna fucking poke you shit. What? And he can't do shit to him. What, what does Travis have on this whole thing? I just well, don't know, you know what he's got on him. I completely disagree with Steve. I completely agree with Danny. And I'm tired of when, when Steve comes in here and he just dismisses Danny's opinion as Danny hates me. Well, I here know. I am. And I think that if you punch me in the face, Nothing would change. You would be out of a job, and I would still be here. You'd be and in a coma. Uh, yeah. More <laughs> civil, <laughs> yeah, more exactly. civil suits. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> punching me in the face or punching Danny in the face is not going to solve anything. Like, you Terry would be out Shines. of a job. Silence is one of the parties. You, know you would be out of a job, and but he doesn't. He's not going to ever. He's not going to ever punch you. He doesn't think about punching you. It's that he's. His the way he is. No, he thinks punching is flying. No, 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 he, but he he'll does. never Travis, do it. No, and that's he, not that's, healthy that's for a boss to do. That's that. That's Travis not healthy. Would be at, Travis would be at a station going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you fuckers! That's not healthy. I completely agree that that by an executive producer saying I'm irrational and crazy and I'll and I'll threaten to punch you in the face. That's not healthy. That's not yeah, what no one a wants boss to work should under do. Those uh, yeah. circumstances. How, how's anyone going to respect that? Why do you look and feel like Richard Dreyfus right now. Uh, <laughs> you, sound, you sound like Richard Dreyfus from Jaws. <laughs> You're not going to until yeah. something comes up and bites you in the ass. You got any, no, wait. You got any better suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the black girl body slam incident, by the way? Uh, what? Wow, just shut down the show. Holy the, no, no wow. the, legal, the legal thing. What? What? Then no, no, oh, no. no. All right. Earl. No. Is anybody? Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Before that, leave Steve alone. Which one was it? Why don't y'all apologize? What the Ralphie fuck? Ralphie May finger in the butthole. Whoa. It's in. No fucking way. No. No so fucking Danny, way. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way. Nothing happened. What? Nothing can happen to make this stop. Nothing. Uh, I don't think so. Oh no. If I he said, I, if he, I'm, I'm very sorry for that. Nothing? No, I mean, we, we, we work together. We have to work together. But, but, aside from that, but I'm saying not to, to just be no, like, this, this, cool. Wait, dude, this is... This is uh, it seems like dudes just don't it's the, stay it's mad very, at each other when surface. one goes, I'm sorry. It's a very surface. No, this stuff. is uh, deeper than that. This has been going on for a while. It's a weird thing to Years. be around somebody like that. Years, actually. I couldn't work. I'd be like, damn, how could you come? How, if I came in, if I found out, like, you go, if I go, you just go, I hate Patrice. Yeah, I go. I come in and I go. Oh. This motherfucker hates me. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna remove myself from this yeah, situation. Yeah. Like, Steve, how are you gonna how deal can with? You be funny and fun with somebody yeah. that you. I know. Steve, how are you gonna how deal with your you own that? child? Are you gonna beat him up if he, no, if, if he doesn't not. listen? Oh, oh well, my right. god! Holy <laughs> but shit. I mean, it's a fair point. <laughs> but it's but, a, yeah, it's a fair point, point. because by your child abuse, by, by your argument, you're saying, well, you know. You don't listen, so uh, my yeah. my reaction to that I is I'll punch so you. So if you so have you, it in you no. to like work it out a different way with your own child when your my child boy. is born, why, why not, you why not with the me? Why not with the yeah. Absolutely different case entirely. I learned well, a whole. I, I, I was. Why can't you bring some of those different. skills to the workplace then? And now I bring a lot. Of, I, I, I and, actually, you know, I like, worked on the fact that physical violence is going to get uh, physical violence these guys is working the final five percent of any any uh, uh, confrontation resolution. Okay, you try to resolve it every other way before it would ever get to that point. Obviously, <laughs> but you so. The fact that so you're getting close to punch zone because everything else isn't working. <laughs> he's at ninety. No, it's just four. And realize yeah. that some battles aren't worth fighting. Everybody piling on. He's getting close to coming in yeah. with a with a with three cheeseburgers. He's going to sit down. <laughs> And he's gonna fucking just light this studio up <laughs> <laughs> with some fucking five one one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you if if he's starting to feel a little bit piled on, because because yeah. here it comes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you really got to fix this. So the way Patrice is seeing it, it's everyone else's fault except. And it's Steve. a bunch of look it. I, I'm I'm on both sides because I've I've learned that way. But it's really difficult when you're a, physically a big dude. 
mm-hmm. and dudes approach you with not fuck the fact that everybody can't fight or whatever, but dudes understand dudes. It's, you can't just be a dude and one not accept a motherfucker's apology if he apologizes. Now I'm not saying that he did that he did, but fuck that. If I go, man, I'm sorry. You have to go, man. I you gotta ex- em- ex- somehow embrace that. Two, the idea of not fighting. It, it's just dudes. We think about that. That's how we roll. Is you? We might fight, and to and for other dudes to go, I'll sue you, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. It just ain't cool as dudes. This is non-dude shit. To to Eric and everybody and Sam's out of it because Sam's just just that kind of witty, I guess. But the motherfucker, I understand what he's saying. I understand what they're saying. But this ain't dude shit. That's the yeah. thing, man. You can't be friends or around each other talking about I'm going to sue you there. That's I'm bitches, man. He's not but, my friend. But you are, though, because no, you're not. hurt. Coworker. The, I, was the, hurt. I was hurt two years ago. I don't but give a that, shit you, But see, you do because you're not over it. That's I'm what I mean. Over it. You're not over it because you're not. You won't embrace. No, no, because it's like being friends so, again. No, 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 that no. was one. That was one thing two years ago. There's a million things every day. There's a million fair things enough. every day. It's All like right, it's, fair enough, man. It's like people that aren't That's friends fair. but have to work together, uh, not liking each other. Then you don't. So how do they you, work together? Can you, what's the example oh. of you working together? <laughs> working together. Steve and Danny. (laughs) 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 Sam Sam writes to the mic. Old instigator Sam. You have to understand. There's two offices. You see, we have two offices here. Danny's in one office. Steve's in the other office. They don't mix. There's no talking. There's no communication. So what's the work? When do they connect as workers they don't. you're watching it <laughs> i mean this even right even now. the paperwork like when does when does it is it 3 degrees of separation from them where they where no. these two have to collaborate have to make there's this never show a time where paperwork transmits from his office to our office like everything is very so self contained no we do not no, work you just dudes that exist in Sometimes the same space he'll tell me that like the guest has arrived and and that's that we'll have a staff meeting once a week with all the staff and the bosses steve will say what he's been doing that's news to Danny, because they don't communicate whatsoever. Oh. Which might be better. It's not so much that <laughs> so they don't communicate. Not, not, <laughs> so they're not co-workers. Steve, they just both get paid by Sirius XM and yeah, yeah, go home. Yeah, Steve will go through me to tell Danny something. It's like a sitcom. And then he'll tell, but not but then anymore, he'll tell, but then because tell we found that, that you'll sue him, right. too. No. And well, then I'll well, come up. Then I'll come up. Like, when, when I need to get uh, Danny's attention. Let like, me ask you a question, Steve. Seriously. A serious question. Yes. When Oak wasn't in the other day, okay? Why would you hand CDs to everybody else but me? Because they were on this side of the room and closer to get to. Oh, oh. no, no, no well, don't okay. be like that. Okay. You didn't do it on purpose. Well, then when have you ever handed Danny a CD when he's sitting here? Um, I stopped doing it, I don't know how many years ago. So then why would you do it? It was, when it, was, it was calculated and deliberate. And just, just admit oh. the fact that you would rather not communicate with me. Um... Correct. Fine. That's that's fine. So I have to, that's Steve's it. not defending himself. Well, no. I think that he doesn't <laughs> give Danny the CDs. So then don't tell me that I don't communicate at my review uh, next. Well, but you know, it's also you know what? Also, it's also I I hand something to Where's Danny and I get the the, the, the 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 Danny <laughs> eye roll whatever. Abs. The Danny eye roll yeah, whatever. That's what Steve's yeah, issue you. is. Well, Steve, I, dude, he thinks that you don't we, give him stuff. Wait, wait, what? If I Steve thinks that if he hands you stuff, it won't get to Opie. When have That's, I ever not? What what has never? What has I never? Don't I don't not know. made it in. Like I've I don't never, understand what no, I sabotage. Yeah, wow, I never that's saw a, it. That's a, this is fucking a. I never saw this. This is a movie. Yeah, I never saw James Bond shit. Yeah. Yep, yep. Sabotage. And you that's think that's what I'm thinking? Insane. Ten second rant Stiff time. Drink. Oh, and we should all smile now. Ten second tirade. Tirade? It's a ten second tirade. I think Steve and Danny should each get one and then smile at each other afterwards. Oh, you want to no, do that? No, because Danny? there won't be a smile at the one, so it won't count. Oh, oh okay. So you don't shit. play along with the ten second tirade? Nope, do it, baby. One. They're doing it. No. Danny nope. could smile and he could look at the teeth you're going to knock out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steve is just that, that the lack of physicality that Steve can't have right now. It's got to be frustrating I as hell. I think he would, if he could choke Danny. He would then, oh, even yeah. if Danny hated him, he'd be like, dude, I'm sorry every day just to get it would that look, fucking energy out. It would out. look like the beginning of Note Country for Old Men with, with the cop on oh, the floor. Just, <laughs> like, Danny would be kicking and, and he's just looking straight up in the air. On the floor, and Steve would just be like, just fucking choking the shit out of him. <laughs> and then Steve, he'd go along to everybody else Steve, and put that bolt through our heads. Hey, Danny, what's the, what's the most? You never lost anything in a coin toss, have you? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Vic, you got anything, Vic? Vic Dumb. No, I'm not allowed. Vic, Vic Dumb. You're I'm not allowed, allowed to uh, talk to Steve until I can figure out a way to properly apologize to him. Oh, oh shit. Have you thought about it yet? Yeah. No, not yet. Well, you go home and think about Are it, you young man. think about it? He's dumb. He wants to it's <laughs> Vic Dumb. He's going to go home and think about something like fucking cotton both, candy both and Ferris wheels. Both guys have a point, man. I, 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 Wait, is he rocking? Like Are you going to apologize to Steve? Oh, man. Yeah. I'll think about it. Hmm. I don't, side you on? I don't see it happening. Whose side am I on? Why would you, I'm on the side of me getting into my fucking truck and going home to my Lovely house. I'm on the side of them. Stiff drink. Cutting the copy that they have. Besides you on, who, 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 who you think should oh. apologize? Ah, uh, well, first E Rock should apologize to Steve. No, that ain't <laughs> happening. <laughs> I thought about getting him an apology Steve. gift, but if I put cheeseburgers down on his desk, I thought he would get upset. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I, I am biased because I've had uh, a personal run-ins with uh, Stephen uh, behind the scenes, things that don't want to discuss. Which makes you believe but, in but the, that. No, no, yeah. no. It's just it's just I have a hard time being sick and each mm -hmm. other. We work together. We, we, we were very good friends, uh, like at NEW and stuff like that. But things just happen. Things happen. We'll just say that. And Danny is a you know, very close friend of mine. Um, so I'm a little biased, so I can't really... I think, okay. This is a preponderance of the evidence. No, this, I, is, this is crazy because it, it's just, it makes Patrice. Steve look bad. No, Steve? no, I'm not trying to make Steve look bad. I'm just saying what he the loses, He just loses friends. Here's the problem. Steve, no, has, it, this, Steve has, this a, what it is. Steve has a major problem. Because the, the staff doesn't like him or respect him. And I don't know how it got to this point, but Steve's got a major problem. You got a major I have problem. Gone, I have sat down each member of this so staff. So you did something because these guys don't like you. Oh, it is a rise up right here. I, and, and I guess you don't God. have to like. They'd, fr they'd frag you if it was Vietnam. Uh, yeah, I, 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 and I guess and you don't have to like the guy that you know. Sergeant Barnes, baby. <laughs> and you don't have to like the guy that's higher than you in in the hierarchy of a fucking workplace. But it, it goes way deeper than that. <laughs> Steve, Steve wants to liars. Now, if we if we left this room now and he locked the door, Steve would sit him all down, deaf. Now, what you all know about that? <laughs> <laughs> he kill him. That's that's my honesty right there. Steve's got a major issue with these well, guys. Well, you know what? To my face, they will, past they the will workplace fucking. Yeah, I know. You love stunt brain. Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on, peace to me. Like, if it, if it was <laughs> one. Swing at me. If it was one guy, then okay. But it seems like <laughs> these guys scene? are in agreement. <laughs> well, if that's the case, then everybody lies. <laughs> Remember that scene? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fucking up the machine. When the machine <laughs> breaks down, we, we break, break down. down. And I ain't gonna let that happen, boy. <laughs> now go ahead. Y'all low. Y'all low, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I don't know, Steve. I I'm got here, fellas. Feeling about I'm this here, one. fellas. Kill me. So what Kill do you, me. So what do you say, Bob? Uh, get the day off. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this Friday. i got a bad feeling about this one. I don't think Travis. I'm going to make it out of here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it. We all got to die sometime, <laughs> Travis. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Steve wants to put a hole uh, in somebody's ass. Steve been shit on six times and he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't shit on Steve. <laughs> let's and let's have uh, let's have Sam talk for the group. Uh, Sam, Sam, because oh, Danny comes from a, a place where we're not sure where he's coming from. Yeah, <laughs> technically, E Rock is too much of a pussy to speak up. He's a victim. <laughs> He's a victim. What are you, a homosexual? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, talk for the group. What do you need to know? About Steve, the work environment, who's wrong, who's right. The relationship between Steve and the majority of the staff has undeniably been severed. <laughs> Wait, start over. Wait a minute. Could you start over? What? That's a direct this is, contradiction. This music playing right now is the greatest yeah. backdrop for this that ever lived. See, we yeah. don't need Travis because he didn't pick this one. Oh, my God. That's how the Steve laughs. <laughs> I don't know. I just be, I feel bad about this, brothers. I just feel bad. I feel bad. What are you, a crusader, Travis? Yeah, we got ourselves a crusader. We got ourselves a crusader. Look at this lump of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I cock a down, Travis. I cock a down. I kick. I kick. I 
get you taking a picture of Steve's breakfast one more time, I swear to God you're going to get a goddamn ticket out of here in a body bag. Ah, shit you not. Ah, shit you not. Bag and tag this piece of shit. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, shit. This music. Oh, it's perfect. It's just, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sam. This no, music is Sam, beautiful. Yeah, wrap, wrap us up. Yeah, with Sam will uh, put it all together. Here. Perspective. I think. Start over. Because now we're. Okay. <laughs> the relationship between Steve and the majority of the staff. Not no, the could you start? Dear Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> the relationship between. <laughs> The, and the majority of the staff has been undeniably severed as evidence today. Uh, to Steve's credit, the last time Steve had a big thing on the air with all of us against him, he reached out to all of us. Get me he, a medic. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Get me a medic. And he talked to all of us. Okay, do it. Uh, yes. Do it, boy. <laughs> do it, boy. Get me a medic. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop. It's just such a great fucking movie. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Since it's then. a lovely fucking war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Since that time, I've had no issues with Steve at all. Yeah. And our relationship is fine. Yeah. Our working relationship is totally cool. I see. Uh, Eric did some things today that got under Steve's skin. However, I think, and if pressed, Steve would probably admit that his major yelling at Eric was due to frustrations that maybe Danny and maybe also Travis what? had built up in Steve. I can't listen to nothing but just nah, music. No, <laughs> they <laughs> took out on Eric. <laughs> I can't listen to but shit. But how long just ago right have now. they, you know? <laughs> What do you mean? How long ago have they frustrated Steve to where he would? No, take that's, well, that's no. not accurate. I, I'll, I'll admit it. Frustrating was, look, Steve. Hang on. Danny has been frustrating Steve for two years. Two years at least. Their their relationship will never Closer be fixed three. whatsoever. We got to settle this now. I and, remember they're not. It's happened back at NEW. They ripped us the fuck apart. And I personally... Can you just do this jumping up and down on one leg and laughing? <laughs> this music makes everything sad. It's just... It's fucking terrible. This, this music is fucking the It really worst. is. Adagio is the worst. It's the saddest music ever made. I can't... I want to laugh. Look at Steve's face. Yeah. With this music. This is terrible. Yeah. Sam. I think Fun. Steve's issues with Danny primarily played a part in what he took out on Eric and I think that when he says pick a side as Eric said he said I don't know if he said yeah. it or not but if oh, he, he said, said pick it. if he said pick a side I think he believes that the team that's opposing him is Danny and Travis e since they're such e good e friends. Iraq is the son of born of those two fathers. <laughs> <laughs> as <laughs> as Ma says for a battle of your soul. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Ah, shit. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, it, 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 it's just... And that's it? This uh, is it. I mean, the, yeah. the issue here, the primary issue, yeah. even with the Eric thing, all of the issue is between Steve and Danny. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. I, maybe you disagree. Well, Between Steve to, and Danny. to make a, a statement, just backing up a few that that the that the, my relationship with the entire staff has been severed. I think that's completely incorrect. Majority. I've I've reached out to everybody, and everybody to my face or over the phone said I got no problem with you, and that was I don't what two months ago. Yes, two months ago. So since then, I don't know. Well, what? But that's the thing. You said that's when you reached out to Danny, and he didn't respond. Yes. I said I have no problem with yeah. you, and I just said so one person through the whole studio. No, to I said Travis it too. To Danny. What? I said it to you too. To what? your face. What? When you came into me right after this whole incident, like, what is your fucking problem with me? I told you some of the issues I had with you. I said, overall, I don't, like, fucking hate you as you assumed everyone else here does. So Eric, and I told able, you that to your Eric face. Eric doesn't have a problem with you. He just thinks your breakfasts are funny. Yes, I understand that. Danny has a problem with you. Yes, I understand that. And you have a problem with Danny. Yes. I don't understand why we don't all hate Sam. How does why he would skate? you hate because Sam? He's, he's the yeah, yeah, How the, the fuck, fuck does he skate? How does that work? <laughs> Wait, what do you say? What do you say? 
He's Colonel Carter. Like, he has his own island and, like, yeah. you know, all, the yeah, all his people. And, apocalypse now. Yeah, well, he knows when, you know, he, he decides whose heads get severed and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but everybody's, everybody's afraid to confront him. It, it's weird. He, uh, we all should hate Sam. I'm Why really, would anybody hate Sam? I think that's what would solve this problem. <laughs> that's not a good solution. Nobody should hate Sam. I've never done anything to anybody. Let's be honest here. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh no! No, we've, we've changed yes, movies. Yes, now we're we're on, <laughs> we're on to an, let's now read to. Yeah, we're on to another movie. <laughs> All right, how we really need to just wrap up. It's getting yeah, late. yeah, it's getting very late. <laughs> because Sirius here's the thing. XM. We'll reach I can't a... believe I'm still at Sirius <laughs> XM. <laughs> <laughs> we could reach a resolution today. Yeah. How? But in two months, I'm just saying some people could apologize and everything. We could say, okay, everyone's fine. Within the next two to four months, something will be done. St Steve will get pissed off and it will result in, regardless of who is at fault, Steve and Danny arguing because that's where the real problem lies. Let's oh. be honest with each other. Here. So if they solve their issue. Which they won't ever. Everything is much better. But they would, I mean, they're just, they need to just separate from each other and not worry about each other. Yeah. When Danny says he's over Steve, mm -hmm. then don't give Steve a second thought. And Steve should not give Danny a second thought. Just act as islands amongst each other. Travis and me, I, I, I hope I can we be on doing, your be eyes. Yeah, but you still have <laughs> hostility towards Steve. Well, I'm not going to magically like somebody. <laughs> no, there's a difference between, there's three things here. There's liking, not liking and you having them out of your system and emotionally <clears throat> right you're not he's that's not what I'm indifferent you you exactly you're not indifferent you do have some dislike some dislike you have pain there you dislike steve well, you don't because not i still care. have to we still have to function on a daily basis you so. don't no we do because i still have to show up and and he has to show up and we have to we have to cross paths eventually so we're gonna have to build a, a new staff here yeah, not, not a whole new staff. We're just, gonna have I to mean, start from scratch. No, you don't need to fire everybody for the third time. Scratch. For the third time, we're gonna have to start from scratch. There's no reason. I You've mean, done it before. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> but Steve has you been did in the show at any yeah, Sam, I've watched this happen. Every, everyone's gone except for those two. Some of us are fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, except for which two? Uh, open it. Oh, yeah. some of us are fine. Uh, back to basics. Yeah. Some of us don't have any Let's issues. Go back to basics. Me and you, kids. Yeah. That's it. Well, I mean, no, some people. Nah, we don't need you. Just stick around and yeah. Yeah, Sam, I, I've, I've, I've been around for 11 years. The old staff thought they needed us. You, you call me throw me made that Sam. obvious. Great. Huh? I've been around. Yeah. What's wrong? What happened, Danny? What's no, wrong? nothing. We should just end the show. Fucking Steve. Why end it? Just wow. makes Danny Wait, sick. Vic has Vic has something. Vic. Well, Vic <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> it's Vic Dumb, uh, everybody. That name has been taken on Twitter and every oh, message board, by the way. Vic Dumb. It's over. Thank you. Well, if this is the source of all the conflict. You. And no, not me. Yes, the, the Danny Steve stuff here. If this is the source of Steve's ag Steve's aggravation, then his blow up today, I think Steve owes me an apology. I, oh, I agree. That's with that. shit. That's fair. Based on yeah, because we... Rock was just trying to keep it fun. Who's in charge here? I don't know, man. I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Jesus. No I think Rock was trying to keep it. E Rock. Keep it fun. So and, Iraq, and what this so show is all so about. Just, I think Eric me... was under the assumption that we worked on a comedy show. Whoa. No, that's that, 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 that's not wow. the get out of jail free card. It's not. Dude, the... Yes, it is. We worked no. on a comedy show, no. and you're the only one who can't take a joke. Feels good to laugh. I, 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 I just, I just got the, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled the tooth the size of a shot glass out the hull of a boat. <laughs> 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 Look, fellas, let's be reasonable here. <laughs> My boy was in that studio, too. <laughs> you want to cut Steve open and see how many cheeseburgers he's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I'll not stand by. I'm just saying. saying. I I'm just saying. I didn't say it. It, it could have been Eric. Steve. <laughs> I'm just saying the bite wounds on that hamburger. <laughs> Look, the bite. <laughs> Let's be reasonable here. This is not the time or place to perform some kind of a half-assed autopsy on an executive producer. And I, for one, am not going to stay in this studio while we cut Steve open and watch those French fry spill out all over the carpet. <laughs> we changed movies again. What's going on? I heard that there were some french fries eaten in this table yesterday, well, and you knew about it. 
I uh, just want to say that uh, uh, Danny and Steve were in the studio at some point, and some feelings were hurt. But everything is fine now, and this studio will stay open. <laughs> Steve, hey man, it's too late now. You're the mayor. You're the mayor of Burger Island. <laughs> Can you, sing, can you sing that lullaby for everyone, Ed? How's it going, Andy? Oh, Do geez. you know the Burger Man? The Burger Man, the Burger Man. Do you know the Burger Man? Wow. <laughs> So E-Rock should get an apology because we do work on a comedy show, and I think E-Rock was trying just to kind of bring some material to the show. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> Y'all know me. E you know what I do for a living. <laughs> I'm not talking about hooking bluegills or tommy cats. I'm talking about Steve. <laughs> <laughs> talking about working for a living. Steve, man, stop it, man. Stop what about it, uh, man. Cage Come goes on, into man. the water? Yeah. No, I'm trying to think, this uh, is crazy. Uh, cage goes into the water. You go into the cage. Burgers in the cage, <laughs> Steve's in the water. Hi, uh, Steve. Farewell and adieu, you best lady. Farewell and adieu, you lady. I'll show you this scar on my chin where Steve got mad and punched me in the face. <laughs> show me the way to go home. <laughs> scar on my fingers when I try to take away his burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's get the E Rock Steve relationship back together. So the E Rock Steve relationship can be mended. Well, a little apology that would be nice. A mutual apology. Ain't you watching it, Carlisi? <laughs> <laughs> Steve oh. can't stay down with three barrels. In <laughs> Not with three barrels. <laughs> Ah, shit. Eric, do you feel you did anything wrong today? No, I do not. What? Well, that, there, see, that's where we're at. We're I'll at apologize impasse. for you having awful breakfast. That's about it. Oh, shit. Well, then I'm not apologizing for my overreaction. Now, Steve, you should apologize because you're sorry, not because Eric feels a certain way. <laughs> How I many burgers that's... did he eat? 20. 25. <laughs> <laughs> All three tons of them. <laughs> <laughs> I nine. I nine. Hey, Steve. I think. Look. look what do you think, Patrice? Hey, Eric. Smile, you son of a burger. I think <laughs> you're I gonna think get this little needle through that flame shirt. <laughs> not that you're sorry for what you did, mm -hmm. but there's a court term called in intent versus impact. You mm -hmm. didn't intend to do nothing fucked up, but something fucked up happened, mm -hmm. and you can apologize for the fucked upness that happened. Oh. You understand? You don't have to That's apologize fair. for your intentions, but the fact that you hurt his feelings, you can say, I apologize. For a harmless, ongoing bit that he was well aware of for the last several months, that just, it was sort of an inside joke to the show that got brought again on air, and he couldn't handle it. It's not an inside fair, joke if you're, enough, if you're tweeting it yeah, to Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's not an inside joke if you're publicizing <laughs> it. Very large. Put that and, out there. and Steve, to be fair A very to large him, inside joke. Arena, right? you, you know that you, as a dude, I respect your dudeness, but you got emotional, man. And yeah. you, you you got over my. I can apologize. And you for, should apologize for the for the fact of how it got taken and not where it came from. I can apologize for overreacting if he can apologize for hurting my feelings. See, this is tit for tat. It's there not go. somebody got to be a man about this shit. The burger has been bitten in two in the middle. <laughs> the bun is uh, partially uh, eaten. <laughs> this was not a boating accident. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bear attack. <laughs> Fries in the basket, basket goes in oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's a good one. Oh, That's a good one. Oh, Funniest shit. listeners in radio right there. Oh, and Booby, well. Booby Man, Booby Man, I think we're going to need a bigger bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I know! I know! I need a bigger bun! Oh, Lord have mercy, man! Oh, fuck! <laughs> this is terrible. Basket goes in the fryer. Going to basket. Basket goes in the, in the fryer. Fryer later. Farewell, <laughs> and I do no. you fast, Venice lady. <laughs> ah. oh, All right, he rock. No apologies. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. This is oh, this is not no, good, no. man. No, no, no. Yeah, you can at least start it there. Yeah, Eric, if you can apologize for hurting my feelings, healing, I can apologize for overreacting. Healing could start overreacting and and threatening me with work oh, shit and you know. Man. 
being physical and all that fun? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't threaten you with physicality. Dude, over a lousy joke that's been going on yeah, just for give, several months. Just give Mayor McCheese uh, an apology <laughs> so he can go home. <laughs> oh, 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 no. shit. Oh, no. Did that hurt your feelings? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an apology. Mayor McCheese. It's terrible. It's terrible, man. Oh, shit. Uh, what? What happened? Did I interrupt the... Ronnie, help us out! Help us out! I look at Ron's just like, I got here early today, uh, 10 after. <laughs> Ronnie got here early and everything. Ronnie, help us out. Thanks for the late lunch, boys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> we, we need some wisdom. We're, the, whole, the whole place is falling place apart, is coming Ronnie. apart at the seams, and you're pretty uh, used to this shit while on your show. You've well, seen yeah. this happening for yeah. many years. So. Well, all I know is yesterday... Steve told me that Danny's a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and that there's a picture of Danny on the internet blowing some other guy. <laughs> so I don't know if that helps. I hope it does. <laughs> yeah, it helped out. No. <laughs> you know, thanks, Patrice. Oh, really, Jesus Christ. It's good to see you. We're, uh, hmm. we're imploding here. Yeah, well, this is the day. Uh, the this is the day is you've been expecting. Now. The beauty of it is the show failed years ago. <laughs> There's no fucking reason to still do this for any of us. <laughs> this has got to be some kind of limbo, doesn't it? Where yeah, we yeah, all live yeah. now? Like we didn't know that we died? Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> the fucking plane went down. Right. <laughs> we blew it a long time ago. What are we oh, doing? We're all doing? still sitting here with microphones. Because <laughs> they're not haunted. Yeah. God, is that true? We're still here with microphones and this fucking... I don't even know how this is broadcast. Yeah. We're just in limbo. Holy shit. And everybody's just fighting with each other. At each other's throats for no fucking reason. Well, you know, yesterday... Um, What's his name? Well, Cross comes to me. Uh, and he goes, yeah, yeah. we've got a problem. Uh, you've got Ed, Ed Begley booked, and so do o and And I go, no problem. Cancel him. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, like we got a battle over who's going to get Ed Begley Jr. Yeah, right. So now I don't have to take 10 minutes and pretend that Ed Begley Jr. is fucking interesting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, shit. And yeah, this should be great heavy. here, right? This should be fucking this great. This should be gravy. Yeah. Just nothing. Oh, sorry, Steve. Should be. I shouldn't use the word gravy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, it should be the easiest gig ever. We yeah. just come in. I don't think anyone knows what the fuck we're doing. No, I don't no think one cares. Know if we're even here. No, occasionally people go, "You guys are great." Yeah, really. Yeah. Tell me yeah, one great thing we did. Just uh, tell me one. Uh, it's just the, the <laughs> atmosphere, yeah. the you know, the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, the is chemistry great. is just. People in the halls are talking. You know something? <laughs> yeah, we get that so too. fucking uh, what? The past week has probably been the best week of shows you guys have ever done. <laughs> yeah. We were on vacation <laughs> last week. It's from NEW. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? So this is it. You guys are done now. Yeah, yeah I, think I think we're think gonna so. finish up. I mean uh, everything. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, I think close it down. There's this is, a rift. This is a good just, place to leave it. Yeah, there's a rift here. I don't think it's curable. And um, speaking of curable, what about uh, your partner there, uh, Frederica? Fe Is he back today? <laughs> yeah, he's he back. Uh, it is, uh... I'll just tell you this: we walked in, and the receptionist looked so freaked when she saw him because of the fucking tube. And uh, there's a strap hanging out of the side of his fucking hair. <laughs> like a chin strap. Because <laughs> his head is shaved. He's, wearing, he's got the worst toupee ever on yeah. his head. They're forcing him to wear it. Poor, poor Fendi. Yeah. Only to uh, freak out everybody who works here. To freak here. out everybody, yeah. yeah. It's, it's and brilliant. there's this strap. <laughs> it's, it's brilliant. I was online last night uh, seeing how much those horn implants cost. <laughs> he put two fucking horns on his head. That would rule. Uh, but he's back in today? Yeah, he's back. All right. He's good. got his ulcers. He's got his I polyps. Know. Heard about all kinds uh, of stuff. What AIDS. You? They found they a little bit of AIDS in there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> They, they uh, snaked all kinds of cameras in him, and apparently there's, like, stalagmites and stuff. They find some shit in him? Yeah, they found plenty of stuff. Like All what? kinds of things. Uh, they got three ulcers, a couple of polyps. Aton pates. And a couple of spots. <laughs> we don't like to look at those. We're going to take some tests. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. Can that you imagine good. the heat on how, the Ronnie Fezzi show? I was going to say, have Fezzi. fun with that, Ronnie. Yeah. Have Fezzi fun with that dying? One. Fuck. That fucking I'll milk uh, that for oh, fucking wow. nine months right after the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> right. I lost my best friend yesterday. <laughs> 
big funeral at the Hard Rock. Johnny's already booking the day. It's, it's Can Don do funerals as well as weddings? <laughs> yeah. Maybe my sister will do the... It'd be funerals. perfect. Yeah, that would be good. Not a dry eye in the house. She'll be smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all here for fact. He would have liked it this way. Yeah. Rock and roll. Yeah, rock, rock and roll. roll. <laughs> rock and roll. Funerals. All right, we should get out of here. Yeah, let's uh, let these guys That's actually guys uh, at least do an hour. Something. We don't care. Take yeah, all the time you need. I know. Believe me. That's what we figured. I could tell by listening. We kind of figured that. <laughs> people are yelling and screaming at us. I'm like, I don't think Ronnie cares. I don't care. I don't care about you. I like to say I don't care about you, the listener. That's where I am right now. That's exactly the way you feel. That's fantastic. So we got nothing done, even though we did an extra hour for everybody. I think a lot got settled. Really? Oh, yeah. It's we good got to have to, it in the open. We finally. got to get out three fantastic movie lines, like <laughs> lines from three fantastic movies with the music and everything. Yeah, it's it was, great. Yeah. It's a great time. I'm gonna li I'm gonna listen to the replay. Well, I'm, a fan, of the, I'm, this I'm a fan of the last hour of the show. Listen to the replay while you're doing the compound show. Just be sitting there. I'll do that. I'll be do that. perfect. People can watch me <laughs> listening to the replay of the show. Fantastic. Steve, where's Steve? Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's the way it's got to happen. It's got to be the. I think everyone is just staying in their corners today. <laughs> How's the staff today? Just walk uh, around like nothing happened Friday, Sam. That's exactly right. Yeah, everybody is just. I was interviewing people earlier. Oh, really? Yes. You're putting something together? Yes, I am. Oh, good. I think uh, everybody is a just. A little postscript to Friday's. Yeah, just to catch everybody up to what's happened, everybody, you know, with the issues that they've made up and right, okay. and all that stuff. We look forward to that. Right. Why don't we take our oh. first Who break? Who started the fight on uh, Friday? Iraq. Was it Iraq? Definitely. <laughs> About well, Iraq was taking pictures of Steve's breakfast. And he's been doing it for a while. And then Steve uh, got wind of that and lost his shit. Why? And was really, really pissed off. And I don't know. Just listen to the replay. It went, on for, <laughs> it went on for a long fucking time. Oh, see, this looks scary. The, why? Because Steve is very sensitive to, uh, to the fact that he said he, he's still overeating. Uh, yeah, he said Iraq hit a nerve because the food addiction was the one addiction he couldn't. Yeah, it's a rough one. Yeah, but uh, was, were they taking aerial photos of his giant breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Might as well. Those are some big-ass burgers. You know, and there's a hoo-hoo happening. Arnold Schwarzenegger tweets pictures of his breakfast. Oh, Where did he? he get that idea I, from, young Sam Roberts? I have this show. I, uh, <laughs> two big burgers, uh, uh, french fries, and... Uh, that's nice paranormal movie. That, that looks horrible. Nah, that looks scary, <laughs> dude. Looks horrendous. That looks scary. Does it? Yeah. I don't think that's real. The audience loses their minds like that. Yeah. It couldn't be real. You think they just put a camera up at a Voss show? <laughs> and they're all just, ah! <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, Sam interviewed the staff about the big fight on Friday. And now, backstage with ONA. Here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm primetime Sam Roberts. Last week on the ONA show, E Rock taking twit pics of Steve's enormous breakfast led to an entire staff meltdown. A conflict between Steve and E Rock quickly became a conflict between Steve and Danny that left the whole world wondering would the staff of the show survive? We reached out to E Rock this morning to get an update. After the big uh, meltdown that you started on Friday, how are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling okay. I had no problem this weekend. And how are things with you and Steve? Um, I guess okay. Right after the show, he came over and apologized and gave me an unnecessary hug, which I accepted. And how excited are you about your new character? Vic Dumb? Eric, what do you... Ow! While e -Rock used physical violence to avoid backstage reporters, we moved on to Steve and Danny to see if the two had worked out their differences. Steve. Yeah. After last week's uh, staff meltdown, how are you doing? I'm doing surprisingly well. Thank you, Sam. How do you think the staff is doing? I think the staff is doing surprisingly well. How is your relationship with Eric? Beautiful. We kissed and made up after the uh, show Friday. And uh, the same with Danny. Eric and I are doing great. How about, uh, but, and Danny and you are also great. Eric is one of the sweetest boys I've ever met. Did you mean Danny or Eric? I can't say enough good things about Eric. So then, you and Danny have not buried the hatchet. You know, I've tried to reach out in the past to Danny, and so far, he just doesn't want to talk to me. I hope that changes in the future, but right now, I have no control over that. Hey, Danny, after last week's staff blowout, how is everything? Which is fine. So everything between, like, you and Eric? Everything's so cool. Okay, cool. And you and Steve? Oh, it's just the same as it ever was. 
So basically, terror. Of course, yeah. Why? There's no reason for it not to be. <laughs> but do you see that you know the confrontation that happened kind of brought issues to the forefront, and maybe we'll come to a resolution? I, I hope they do. I would. I I pray they come to resolutions. Do you see that happening? Never. Okay. <laughs> ah, no underlining hostility there. Obviously, Steve and Danny have conflicting points of view, and Backstage can only assume that their ability to coexist in the same working area will continue to deteriorate. However, there is one thing that ONA fans can look forward to. Hours and hours of material from E-Rock's brand new character, Vic Dumb. Let's all enjoy laughing at Vic's stupidity as the show crumbles around us. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with ONA. There's no clips, though, of the actual yelling. I want to hear somebody yelling at somebody. Mm. Oh, well, well yeah, you had to be here Friday. It has an hour and 40 minutes. No, no I mean, just the first wow. yell. Who yeah. started the first yell? It wasn't even... I don't know. Kind of got just, into it, and then Patrice was like, "Get oh, Steve in here." It was a here, slow build. Then, trust oh, okay. me. Steve came they in. Ended and, up with movie lines. It was <laughs> it, oh, one for the yeah, ages. Yeah. It was a good one. Yeah, it went from Platoon to Apocalypse Now to Jaws to oh, it was just it was a, it was a, all goofing on Steve and his uh, giant breakfast. <laughs> we didn't get out of here until I think eleven. Going to need a bigger plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was wow. that. <laughs> <laughs> there was a... <laughs> my one of my favorites is French fries goes in. The... <laughs> in the... French fries go in the basket. Fries go in the basket. <laughs> basket goes in the oil. <laughs> 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 Can I tell you, I watched Jaws on the plane going out to fucking L.A. It was one of the choices. Yeah. And uh, it's just great. Yeah, it really is. It still I, is I, real I still good. watch it. Let's really <laughs> pop that fucker on. Blue cheese salad. What's that, lasagna and fries? It, it's really bad. Uh, no, it's like an omelet with ketchup or yeah, something. I don't know. That's and just a lot of chicken food. And, no matter and lettuce, are. which is healthy until you dump the Elmer's glue well, blue cheese you know, on is, it. It's like any one of these things isn't necessarily terrible, fries in, are in, terrible. The, in the proper portion. One fry. But this is like, <laughs> this is at least four portions per Tupperware, and there's yeah, three yeah. of them. So you're looking at 12 portions of food here. Yeah. Like four yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said four portions per Tupperware. It's, 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 it's true. It, it's, it's true, though. Proper portion right. size is, is, is important. I hate the word portions. <laughs> I do, too. It just sounds too, like... Um, too too restricting and too mothering. Like uh, you have a good, a healthy. Because the Nortons were notorious for our lousy portions. Portions. <laughs> <laughs> portions Mother gave out yeah. horrible portions of good food. Small. Uh, just small portions. Terrible portions. Also, the cane mutiny. He was talking about how many portions. Like, yes. He had more portions. You know, and they're taking the sand to portions. represent the strawberries. Strawberries. Uh, Iraq. Can you name three others, just out of curiosity? Um, I'm looking for five delicious. Fast food items. Well, the the ranch chicken wrap is also delicious. Mm -hmm. um, what do you the, get at Wendy's usually? The the, uh, the the chicken sandwich. You get the junior bacon double. Oh yeah, that too. The junior bacon. No. <laughs> How many like? How about a Whopper? No, that's a double stack. <laughs> you don't like I get a the Whopper? Junior bacon cheeseburger. Junior you don't like bacon. a Whopper? No, I don't eat the. the Why? Real I don't know. I just don't. Whoppers eat. rule. The best hamburger is a fucking Whopper. I get cheese, uh, not cheeseburgers, chicken sandwiches. Junior bacon cheeseburgers is what and you get. Too. Why yeah. junior? Because it's smaller. With bacon and cheese on it. Because it's smaller. Of them too. Yes. What does no, that I eat mean? One of them. Who cares if it's smaller? I don't eat. It's like, still going to give really, you a high blood pressure. The really big sandwiches, uh, like the Whopper. You can't open your mouth that, that wide. No, I could. I just don't do it. No. He likes to have one any chance we can do the fucking chicken burger dance. <laughs> Is this okay no. to make fun of your food choices? <laughs> oh, that's fine. Or are you going to cry like another member of the staff? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I never cried about that. Yeah, you have. No. Secretly behind the scenes. In the bathroom stall. As you your... Stop photographing <laughs> the buffets on my desk. <laughs> he has them tied in bags now, so you can't see them. Oh, really? Yeah. Bags? <laughs> Hefty bags. <laughs> That's what I meant. God, fuck. <laughs> well, it's I, okay. I, I actually said it normal. Healthy, small portions? <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Um, e Rock. You know right. E Rock. You know the guys around here. Sure. He had a little bit. Are you on Twitter? No. All right, not we're going to get you on Twitter today. Fighting it. Fighting it? Yeah, Why? I'm fighting it? No, I, I guess tweet on Jeremy Borash's uh, Twitter. He's a big tweeter, so I uh, send out a guest tweet every once in a while. You would be really good for, for Twitter, okay? Because you're that type of guy. You would come up with good stuff, good tweets. 
Anyway, E-Rock came up with a little bit for his Twitter where he would take pictures of, of Steve's breakfast. Okay. Because it was just an obnoxious bre- breakfast every morning, and he would tweet the picture. <laughs> and then all hell broke loose last week, and everyone uh, got into it a, a Steve bit. was offended that people were yeah. taking photographs. Very pissed off at E-Rock. But now we're learning that he did like the voiceover work where he mocks how much E-Rock eats. That doesn't make sense. It's dead air. <laughs> yeah, I was I was hoping for a little more than dead air, maybe a couple. couple I you were gonna play maybe some... a couple hmms or oh just, really? I was yeah, I didn't about... expect complete silence. Well, now that you've said, and I thanks would be for bringing good... it up, making it even more uncomfortable that I started this break with nothing.